Well, hello everyone. Stream is ready. Stream. So let's get started. All right. So do fortress. Um. How can I say? Uh. We we'll pick up from where we left last time. Uh, I don't know if it's still. Of course, still say it's crash crash course crash course stream because uh, we're beyond the basics now Dornost indeed but we'll see if there are other things I can explain, teach you, talk about yes, yes okay, so Mm hmm what is this thing this is a piglet oh okay so uh we just got did we just get a migrant wave yes probably we did and it's it's late summer, yes, in the sixth month, so it's late summer. Uh, we should start thinking about making some uh, real bedrooms here, because despite the, the dormitory, okay, our drawers our dwarves are not really uh, using it they're still sleeping on the floor as this chap here or chapette our metalsmith okay, it's, there's plenty of bed and, and the dog is fighting oh okay so if by the way if press r Hello, Dorkling! Busy eating arancini. Good for you. Wow, yes, it's it's not even nine over there. So, I was saying, uh, pressing R, you get the report, uh, the fight reports. Okay, you can select one fight in this case. In this case, we see our a stray dog is fighting a wild boar, a wild boar saw. And ouch. Uh, okay, and our dog is having a hard time. Okay, for so by the way, um, you can't um, you can't heal or uh, cure your animals. So. Once uh, they have some broken bones as such, they have to deal with it, sadly. Okay, so now uh, I have to address this room situation. Uh, we could go here and we could start mining. We could start mining a corridor over here. Uh, by the way, uh, one thing that I missed uh, last time is um, how wide your corridors should be. Um, well, uh, your corridors should be at least two squares wide. This is because um, dwarves, uh, when they're... Um, carrying stuff um, uh, yes yes okay at least two three is better uh, basically you want two dwarves um, moving down the corridor one way uh, on one side and the other way uh, on the other side so they don't bump into each other otherwise they slow down their pace 
uh, because yes you can have uh, two doors on the same in the same square uh, but uh, that will slow them down and if they are carrying heavy loads such as boulder and such they can't do that so at least two I cannot have an off-center head oh sure <laughs> that's that's right okay uh, mm, basically what your cling says it's it's correct <laughs> uh, you also want to um, you can have one door or two doors at the end of the of the corridor and uh, naturally if you place just one door and it's too square wide uh, it's not symmetric so <laughs> that's a, so uh, the same goes with stairs okay so for instance we could uh, start enlarging this widen up this corridor here and we have we'll have some uh, up down stairs here and here you could also go really crazy and do stuff like this I don't like doors I just send to, uh, to each other I see ah, that's understandable so uh basically if you then if you um get more than one stair next to each other basically think of it as a simply as a larger stair okay uh, it's not like there's going to be more than one, than one stairwell uh, it's the same stairs uh, uh, it's uh, stairs are even worse from that point of view so you want them large enough to get two or three dwarfs at a time so here we're going to get some upstairs okay we wide, it, wide this up and get some downstairs here it's J and here we'll have some uh, up and downstairs and here's some upstairs right okay check um, it's not the end of the world if it's slightly off center however you want at least uh, um, one square of your stairwell um, right on top of the other so to speak um if you if you if you do the upstairs here and the uh, downstairs uh, next to each other not um, I'm missing the word uh, on top of it anyway uh, it won't work you have to, to have at least one square in common so to speak okay so we're uh, going to wire this up we get oh uh, yes we get some a corridor now uh, as for as for um, bedrooms okay um, you can have single bedrooms okay uh, you um, what you really need to have in a bedroom is the bed a container so um, a chest or a coffer and a cabinet okay the more uh, furniture you have the better uh, first because it improves the dwarf's mood and second um, it, the more stuff uh, that the dwarves can uh, put in there the better otherwise they'll start uh, sewing their belongings uh, uh, across the floor of the, the entire fortress you don't want that um, shape uh, you can have different shapes it doesn't really matter uh, just keep in mind that the uh, uh, if you're going to engrave the floor and the, um, and the walls um you want 
you might want a, a, like a corridor um, shape for instance you could do like this yes four by one means you can place a bed um, a coffer a cabinet and something else which right now uh, it's uh, we're going for the minimum because this is not going to be our mm, uh, our main fortress this is just for a few years just to get going um, mm, you can um, place them one next to the other I'm keeping two squares uh, between one and the other because when we're going to engrave the walls uh, this way we're sure they're engraving the inner walls, the walls uh, toward the inner mm, the room, okay? Otherwise it gets mm, messy because only one um, side of the wall can be can be engraved. For instance, if I did this, okay, this 4x1 array uh, they're going to be our bedrooms okay this is going to be the wall and it's a common wall between the two rooms okay and we could do this doesn't change the idea okay this wall when we're going to engrave it uh, for instance this piece here is going to be engraved on this side but not on this side this one might be in facing this this way and so on and in that case you're going to lose some value and i don't want to i don't want that i want to get maximum value possible for our bedrooms okay um other way there's the uh, that's a cheesy tactic you could um, deploy for your bedrooms which is um, uh, basically having several uh, you make one large sing one single large uh, bedroom okay and you stuff all the beds in there or the coffers or the cabinets everything and then uh, when you go and uh, assign designate the rs bedroom you um, highlight the entire room uh, so you have different rooms all of the same shape basically all ah wait i'll show you uh, okay now let's say we want to transform this uh, dormitory into uh, a multiple single bedroom so um, we could do this as you can see this is dormitory okay we could free the bed okay the, uh -huh. and then um, each one we say it's a bedroom the size of the entire room okay same here same here and so on. basically what happens do fortress as uh, the um, when calculating the value of a room uh, it checks if uh, the room it overlaps with another okay if it overlaps um, the value gets a penalty I think it, it, it's a 50% penalty however it, it's not cumulative so um, a room either overlaps or doesn't overlap if it overlaps doesn't matter if it, it if it overlaps with 5 10 or 20 room other rooms the penalty is still 50 percent this way basically we have rooms with um 10 beds 10 coffers 10 cabinets okay so 30 pieces of furniture and uh, even with the 50% um, penalty in the value, there are going to be royal bedrooms, okay? It's a bit cheesy. I don't like to do that, okay? Uh, however, um, 
if you check uh, the, the Dual Fortress Wiki or um, community Discord forums and such, it's, uh, it's, I don't say it's the norm, but it, it's not really frowned upon, okay? It's up to you, uh, like uh, the rest of the game, okay? Uh, I'm not going to do that. Not yet, because, by the way, I don't have enough bats for all the dwarves. So I'm going to have mm, dwarves. Um, uh, you know what I could do? Dormitory. Yes. Dormitory. Dormitory. I'll send all to dormitory. Because why not? This way I'm, I want to be sure that get it okay back here we can add some room here we can dig some more here okay well, we have uh, if I remember correctly 15 dwarves but uh, we're going to get more next season so it's better to make a couple more we can we can expand as we see fit okay uh, and that was it oh, let's unpause oh then let's check uh, we can check a to see the last messages. Okay, there's nothing of our production were completed. So let's see, we could make some more beds. We, uh, we can also fight equals the J, M, Q, and um, Give a general order and let our manager take care of that. Uh, our woodcutter is is praying, which is good because it it's good for the mood. Same goes for instance. Uh, we um, made a temple out of the on top of our. Um, manufacturing site, we should call it our production site. So uh, the value uh, of the temple took a penalty, but right now we just need a temple just to get doors to pray. That's the what we need. Uh, we could probably let's see. We will need uh, another thing. How many tables and chair do you need in your meeting hall? Uh, I think I don't recall if it's one every five dwarves. The ideal is one every two, from one every two to one per dwarf. But when you start having two hundred dwarves, uh, having uh, Dining rooms with uh, 200 tables. It, it's our, uh, one every two is fine. Otherwise, uh, dwarves will start having bad thoughts because they didn't find um, an empty table to sit to. Oh, we don't have any table. So that might be a good idea to make some more tables. Uh, food and table. We're probably going to need six. Same with chair. Uh, seats, you, you can make chairs, you can make thrones. Uh, thrones are made of metals and rocks. Chair are made of wood, so depending on what you have. Again, chair have a low value, so if you want to increase the value of the rooms, it's better to go for a throne. But 
Once again, here we are just going for the basic things. Okay, as you can see, we we started digging. Okay, that's good. Then we smooth. Uh, if this is stone, what is this? Is this this is sealed stone wall? So it's a stone, so it can be. Um, uh, it can be smoothened. Oh, I did a mistake. Okay, it's not a huge deal. Okay, I made some up and down stairs here instead it was so there's nothing here going down but maybe we'll we'll have some uses for for it we could also uh, you um, tear down the the stairs we carved and build some new ones in rock oh we, we should do that by the way so that i show you you have struck tiger eye it's a gem. It's good. Okay, I don't think we have any metals right now, so oh by the way we could we could do some downstairs here. This uh brown squares here are tree roots basically are the roots from the trees above okay so it, it's not does it counts as a wall but it's not a pretty wall so you might want to tear it down and build a new wall just to have it something something prettier uh, the dry season has come so a little a short break so we can so the game can save auto save now we're going uh, uh, to the dry season so this is the uh, part of the year when uh, you can let your dwarves go outside because it it never rains, uh, so th this is tropical um, tropical uh, climate. So you get the six uh, uh, six months of, of rain, bad weather, six months of dry weather. It's always warm, okay. So there, uh, you don't have to to worry about that. Uh, the water never never um, freezes. So you don't, uh, you shouldn't uh, run out of um, fresh water, and that's a plus. Um, however, I have to say, temperate climates with the winter and the the, the, fr the freezing, then the thaw, and so on, uh, you have some funny building options. Uh, that's something. Uh, to to keep in mind okay yes Dorkland, this is because we are in the um, uh, it's because of the of of the climate um, since we're in the, in the, in the tropical climate the 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 game um, warns you about the dry and the wet season okay um, if you play in a temperate in temperate climate instead it warns you about each passing season at least this is the conclusion i got okay here we are going quite good by the way, uh, if we want to collect plants, now this is the right time. Um, 
so we should try to do that because for instance you you don't f uh, there are no fruits in the in the dry season so those that you were able to pick in, in spring and mostly summer will have to do for the rest of the year let's check okay we have no drinks dang it this is bad is but we have fresh water so uh, our doors aren't um i'm going to be dehydrated they i hydrated uh, however they they're not fond of water so uh let's start brewing a drink from fruit and do it now please Yes, that's what the dwarves say. <laughs> it's not drinking. Now, honestly, uh, dwarves drinking just uh, plain water work f way, way more slowly. So, okay, I think I saw. Yes, this is the this is the steel. Okay, now it's working the steel. Okay, we should have some food. Uh, this is our uh, refuse stockpile. There's stuff like rotten red remains. Basically, when uh, your your um, tamed animals like usually cats um, kill rats and uh, small rodents that are trying to get into your food storage okay uh, like mm, real cats they like to leave their uh, the, the corpses of the little animals uh, around for the other dwarves to see and that's not really nice because uh, it's going to rot and cause miasma so you want to have um and you say hamster remains rotten remains have a check because sometimes for instance um bones that could be used for carving um hides that could be used for leather and so on will get uh, moved here and so check if it's just hamster remains stuff like that you can also uh, tell them to dump okay because there's no point grass grasshopper remains awesome lungfish remain hamster remain okay so we'll have we'll have a dwarf take care of that uh, wood we have quite a lot of wood we are quite good with it Okay, so let's check what our dwarves are doing. Drinking, construct tables, ratamin bean, drink, prepare raw flesh, drink, plant seeds, gather plants, recover wounded. How come recover wounded? Someone's wounded. Okay, let's check our, oh, F1, in case you get lost, F1 will, will take you to the, uh, let's call it spawning point. Okay. Bear. Okay. We also should start taking care of the hospital, so like, uh, Probably a couple of chair. Okay, we're already working on those. Hospital, if it's, if you go, hospital information, the unit thread, cloth for bandaging, splints, crutches, powder for cast. Powder for cast is uh, alternatives to splint. So you, 
É, é, it's, um, cast a better, however, splints will do. Buckets and soap. Okay, we'll need some soap in case someone get hurt, but I don't think there's anyone right. Sometimes your tours might faint because of um, exo uh, ex uh, be because of fatigue okay and uh, so they need some rest and they'll be be taken to the hospital to rest a bit but that's it. that's it okay okay we are done here mining so we get to phase two smooth will smooth the stone okay basic then uh, you can see we have some stuff here these are boulders uh, usually uh, with this uh, graphical tile set uh, building or construction stone boulders are of a rough shape if you see some spherical ones usually are ore so in this case magnetite so we could we could smelt it so we can get some uh, metal um momo the falcon has grown to become a turkey gobbler so a turkey gobbler with a first and the last name uh, it means it's a pet so it's linked to one of our dwarves and is treated as uh, almost as a person okay oh whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, right, it's it's fall, it's autumn. A caravan from the mountain home has arrived. It's our first caravan. And I am afraid we have nothing to, to trade, but maybe we can... Wow, they're fast. It's usually much slower, not used to play on this on this rig. Oh, Stakut, Mebzut. Tholek. I am a liaison for the mountain homes. Let's discuss your situation. Okay, there is much to share. So usually when you get um, merchants, caravan, outpost liaisons and such, they give you information about the, uh, the world, such as wars waging in information about artifacts and stuff like that you get it in the civilization tab which is c press a to finish picking in on conversation okay what requests do you have for of our merchants okay begin discussion basically uh this is how it works uh the first time you get uh, you get a caravan they bring you um, some items, okay, a wide variety of goods, and you can um, you can tell them what you would like to get the following year. Okay, so you have to uh, figure now what you're going to need later however it's usually the the same so for instance uh one thing our doors are going to need are cloth so you can get you can get thread thread will need uh you'll need uh to to uh, weave it weave it into cloth uh, or you can buy ready to use cloth and then with the cloth you can make for clothes that's uh, pretty straightforward the thing is um getting stuff ready ready to use is quicker but it's more expensive and also once your craft wars are um are good are expert at their crafting um you 
you get better things out of them so you will be better off buying raw materials even just starting with thread uh, a, a, a good weaver for instance you can get exceptional um, cloth out, out of thread uh, wool and such and it will add a lot of value to the finished clothing uh, and so on so um, right now we'll be a bit over um, over the over the board we ask you can get this priority basically uh, you're telling them how much you you would like to get those items next time uh, the more you request the more you want them and the more expensive they're going to be so basically the dwarves are saying okay we get you that but you have to pay us as extra so i usually unless i really really need something i won't get to pass three okay um i might get four or five for instance i just need cloth so basic cloth to make some clothes so it's okay uh, silk some pigtail okay which is the the cheapest uh, vegetable cloth you can get a yarn uh, to make wool cloth crafts crafts uh, I've never bought crafts uh, because it's much it's so much easier to to get your doors to craft what you need so wood uh, here depends much on uh, where your fortress is I'm in the jungle so there's plenty of wood I just need to cut it not a problem uh, metal bars uh, follows this uh, just what I said about cloth uh, our, um, metal bars are quite expensive but are uh, ready to use if you have a decent furnace operator smelter, just ask for the stones, the raw stones, okay, and you smell them yourself. Um, I'll ask for some iron, copper. I'm not really, I don't really need it, but, but uh, I'd like to get some weapons okay steel is the best metal outside of uh, adamantite which is quite a thing on its own and you get you get adamantite if you dig very 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 deep into the big big fan beyond um so uh, steel is quite it's quite expensive because you need iron and uh, other materials to craft um, and all only dwarves can provide steel okay you won't get it from human or else merchants basically you need iron to make pig iron and from pig iron can make steel it's it's quite a long and tedious process now to for weapons uh, bronze is decent copper uh, it's fine if you can get anything better iron is or it's quite good you can use silver uh, for um, blunt weapons mace hammers because uh, silver um, doesn't keep an edge so it's not really good for edge weapons but it's quite heavy so it's good for blunt weapons such as hammers and war hammers and maces so it will do and that's okay gems no stone blocks no seeds yes we'll get some seeds we we want some seeds big tail please uh, rock nuts okay nipple cap let's go with it and little snow we already have one anvil and it's fine for now weapons uh, as usual as a finished product is really expensive and the quality is quite poor usually so uh, 
if you if you unless you're really desperate for it i would skip it um Pigs, pigs. Usually, even if you don't ask for pigs, they'll give you some. They'll provide you some. So, I'm not going to ask for them. Bodywear uh, is the same. You know, this uh, it can be bodywear, headwear, anywhere. Basically, it, it's all considered armor, even if even if it's clothing or actual armor. Uh, as usual, they they uh, they provide you with something, okay? Instruments later on. Pets pets could be pets could be useful, okay? So we have a couple of dogs. We'll ask for more dogs. Um, we'll ask for cats. Don't say. Um, maybe we won't buy cats, but it's okay. Uh, Dokling, I'm sorry. Horses here, here in Dwarf Fortress are totally useless as a mean of defense. <laughs> I know your uh, legendary tale in, uh, in legendary settlement in Ringworld based... Um, their defense uh, on horses here horses uh, they they can't be trade unless you mod the game they can be trade for war um, what would the loser say ah uh, I don't know uh, I have to say uh, my previous fortress I had um, we were cattle breeders and I had a lot of horses in the end I butchered them <laughs> because horses are mm, quite uh, pointless right now um, horses if you're playing adventure mode with uh, human or elves or taller races that can ride horses they're good but you can't use them right now uh, let, let's see which animals uh, are useful um, cows cows and bulls are good for milk well cows are good for milk bulls are good for breeding naturally basically um, goats goats are not bad uh, you can get some wool out of them and uh, right now wool is uh, quite a commodity because will need clothing um, bird hen rooster duck drake they provide eggs okay uh, which is another important um, mean of sustenance um, we'll see if they if they have some egg laying birds we get them uh, llama and paca uh, we already should have a couple of alpacas uh, always good for wool now my first aim is to get animals that can are easy to breed and i can provide wool to get some clothing uh, as i said last time if your dwarves mm, have are dressed in rags things are going really really bad quite soon so we're also low on um, on drinks so i'll ask for some drinks then we'll see if we need it cheeses we should be able to provide some cheese so and usually some rounds of cheese some wheel some cheese wheels uh, will be provided meet the same no need to ask for meat they, they come with unless you want some particular meat uh, some doors may have particular cravings uh, for instance we are in the jungle and um, if a dwarf wants some ice bear or polar bear meat you'll have to ask the mountain home for it because you won't be able to provide it fish we're fishing we have a little river 
so we're already fishing however if the same uh you'll see we will still get a lot of fish to, to buy from from anyway plants plump helmets yes please plump helmets are uh, all-purpose vegetables and they can be cooked and they can be um, you can brew them in the steel to have some alcoholic beverages garden vegetables are used for many things they can be ingredients they also can be used for um, other things like uh, tinctures uh, for as a dye a curve to dye some cloth so stone okay this is this okay this is this is if you want some uh, raw metals this is the way to ask for them so uh so let's see um you also uh, if you need uh what they call it uh flux stone to mm, forge to to smell steel uh, this is the better way to get it. Uh, for instance, marble is a flux stone. Uh, calcite, I think. We get some nuggets. Gold nuggets, silver nuggets. Again, getting nuggets uh, and stone is way cheaper. Bituminous coal, to make coke, uh, it's uh, a fantastic um, uh, way to hit your forges. Platinum, well, maybe not. Uh, gypsum, yes. Gypsum uh, for our hospital. Then uh, magnetite, we have it. Um, then what? Copper nuggets, yes, please. Uh, if you have uh, doubt on what stones you want, uh, you need to to smelt which um, which metal. Check the wiki. Uh, if I remember correctly, limonite is a source of iron, so we get it. Um, uh, hematite. I'm calling it hematite or malachite for tin. Okay, we get some limonite for now. Okay. Cages. Okay, self explanatory. Bags will make our own, and if you, if you buy uh, powders like flour. Mm, as such, you will provide it with bags that you can use once the content is emptied. So there's not really any need to buy them. Thread, yes, please. Thread. Ropes, we can make our own. Barrels, the same. We can make our own uh, unless we have plenty of wood. So everything that can be made out of wood, we can make ourselves for much, 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 much cheaper. Backpacks uh, from leather. Well, uh, we we get some leather. We'll try to get some leather. Sand. Um, sand. You need sand for glass, but right now it's not. Uh, light charcoal, potash, pearlash, coke. We get. We'll ask for a bit of this. We we need it for many things. Buckets, splints, scratches, eggs, bags, ropes, cloth, yarn. Yes, please. Sheep, llama, and alpacas. Thread, yes. So we can make our thread. Tools, uh, we can craft our own, so it's not a problem. Clay, we have a lot of clay already. Sheet, later on, you 
can set up a, a library and you, you need sheet to write your own parchment your own books and such which is an excellent way to keep your dwarves entertained and that's it oh leather yes i was forgetting the most important um again the more exotic the beast the, the more expensive it is so yes don't look don't look now don't look now what i'm doing uh <laughs> you can even have leather out of cave fish uh we'll go with something uh if you go the usual like yeti bobcat <laughs> The yeah, black bear, grizzly bear, yes. Grizzly bears are uh, can be trained for war, and they are uh, they can help. Uh, if you want some animals trained for war, that are um, somehow viable as a way of defense, you need to go with giant animals. However. They, you need a lot of food to keep them alive so uh, it's right now it's not the viable way uh, Crack Smash tried to, to have a fortress defended only with trained animals it didn't turn out really well uh, just because of that uh, uh, unless you go with something really crazy like dragons, forest dragons um really uh it's not uh yes yes uh alpaca llama yes water buffalo goat pig cow horse okay and that's it okay we we'll see what you get okay well then, we have finalized the import agreement. Feel free to go over the documents. Okay, if you want. You see, down they're telling us which is going to be our overprice. So, for instance, um, dog leather, they provide us dog leather, but we have 41% increase in price. Uh, sadly, that's Big take cloth, 159. Also, the better is your broker, the, the, the better the bargain you can strike. So, there's not much you can do about it. Finish picking in on conversation, yes. Now they're going to tell us what they want from us. For instance, they really need backpacks, blocks, figurines. They're going to uh, to pay an extra sixty percent on figurines, anvils, footwear, and scepters. So scepters and figurines, we should be able to provide them. Okay. I look forward to our meeting next year. Our fortune rise and fall together, right? Okay, now, as you can see, the merchants have arrived and are unloading their goods. They're here and they're unloading the goods. It will take some time, a few days. Okay, in the meantime, we can press Q. Okay, we can go over the, the, the trade depot, which is a building. We have some options. We can move goods to from depot, which is required to trade. We can trade once we have uh, a trader and the uh, once we have a trader at the depot. So right now our broker, who is Lord of Fico da Tudu, uh, our expedition leader, is meditating on marriage. Okay, so it's currently meditating. So we'll uh, we can press R to recall him. Trade request trader requests at the depot. Uh, we can also press B, only broker may trade. Right now it's only broker may trade, so only our expedition leader can, can do that. Otherwise, anyone can do that. Um, 
later on you may be you might have more than one uh, dwarf who is uh, who is good at assessing and trading so you you won't need to 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 require the broker okay let's before taking care of that however we have a situation here we have as you can see this baby alpaca and this horse fall have the downward brown arrow which means they're hungry this is because uh, they keep dwelling inside the fortress and they can't graze and this is how i lost my very first fortress i didn't know that so all my animals died so we need okay this is our one of our pa uh, pastures we can make another one here larger okay and we can make it uh, it's a, a good idea to have more than one pastures ready uh, this way when if, the, if if one becomes overpopulated and there's no grass to graze you can move them okay and um, it's another part of macro managing in dwarf fortress that it's not everyone's cup of tea so we press capital n and we have a list of an animals here uh, the animals with the um, triple with the green triple hyphen uh, are the ones who are already in a pasture okay um, the ones without are to be as uh, designated to uh, to a passion in fact you can see we have the stray baby alpaca the one starving who's not assigned in fact is uh, it's uh, it's inside our fortress uh, so we have to to move it simply you move with plus and minus up and down and we press enter to designate them to assign sorry assign as a puppy uh, now uh, pets usually are taken care by their uh, by their owner okay but uh, it's a good idea to have them in the pastures the same horse fall yes a piglet yes okay by the way we have puppies i our dogs had some puppies and i apparently i didn't notice that uh, dogs and cats for instance don't need to be pastured okay because they're they eat a bit of everything and um, Mm, yes they can stay inside the fortress uh, all grazing animals should be outside or in an indoor um, pasture okay if you can grow it and uh, so I'll, I'll check the cat can say you can have dogs for instance uh, they can work as um, security measure so you can have them okay we will have this puppy here as well and that's okay so now it should be taken care of back to our trade depot okay so let's see what we can move there uh we don't have really much we have some wine oh i'll tell you what um cooked food cooked meals are really really tradable i've hired a few a couple of um, fortresses in the past with really good cooks and the first five or six years i just traded cooked meals 
and we really got uh, a ton of stuff for that so barrels usually you can check the barrels prepare food okay uh, we don't have anything else however we just have that oh probably we have in pots let's check um tools under tools no okay okay we'll see what we can we can get by the way they're staying for quite a few days the merchant so we can rush some kind of production now and see if we can get let's go now with some lavish meal you could you could eventually <laughs> you could buy uh, some raw ingredients cook them and resell them before the merchants leave but uh, that's that's quite extreme I'm not going to try that we should add some cheese that could be cooked oh by the way let's check here all the orders you could also if you for instance let's say we want to milk uh, our animals you can list it in the in the job order if you put quantity zero uh, basically it's uh, as you can see it's infinite search of infinite it goes on until you tell them to stop it's the same basically as going to the almost the same as going to the workshop selecting the task putting on repeat okay however if you do this uh, on the workshop when they run out of you know, uh, materials they stop and cancel the order this way the order will stay will just be suspended uh, so we can milk we can shear shear animal okay we can make cheese okay um then some things like um a waving thread into cloth uh, is uh, done automatically or tanning hides at, uh, into leather it's done automatically uh, so you don't need to assign doors to that some migrants have arrived oh great more mouths to feed whoa 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 slow down guys slow down you're so fast okay here we we're we're uh, we just started smoothing out here the area i hope we get some the company of heather a woodwork guild has been established so we have a lot of woodworkers and they founded a, a guild so they're going to ask for a guild hall next and it's going to be a pain oh create a masterpiece a bitter orange food bed awesome really nice by the way when you make new uh, rooms um don't forget that um to uh, wait for the uh, smooth thing to be done before placing furniture because once you place furniture and your doors won't be able to smooth the stone 
beneath it, under it, beneath it or under it. So just wait. Okay, now it's a good time to uh, here use our dwarf therapist to assign some new there are 21 dwarves okay so we have an excellent carpenter mr mutant 15 is a legendary carpenter my goodness uh, a grand master surgeon wow and a grand master mechanic this is awesome this is this is awesome people okay so i want more people in stone detailing oh we really need more people this is smoothing and engraving and as i said last time it's something most if not all dwarves enjoy doing so it's better to have them okay good back here outside it's raining they said that it was a dry season you liars okay oh let's trade Let's trade our expedition leader is at the depot and ready to trade. So we press T to trade. Okay, we have some prepared food barrel. Okay, which is of uh, s over 1600 of value. 1668 points and it weighs 52 units. Um, okay that's that's quite good now uh let us trade they say right let's see what they have copper bars copper bars well they cost 10 so we ask for them uh, is that it just some copper bars oh my goodness glass we're going to later hematite 24 hematite i don't recall what is it. i'm going to buy it clay we are we have plenty of clay rope 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 we don't need rope right now well you know what uh we could have one rope it's damn expensive we we'll get this plain llama wool rope just in case we need it water skins water skins are needed when you start having a militia so they your doors uh, stay by uh, the keep training or stay by the the guard post without having to head to the meeting wall uh, to drink uh, oh toys we, we can make some toys now we have plenty of dwarves so our production should, should speed up considerably um a cat 40 yes please uh, a horse a male horse no not yet not yet Dorkling. We, i'll get you a dwarf a uh, do horse a <laughs> dwarf, actually me, uh, bumblebee, uh, being. Uh, yes, let's get some pig's milk. Some sheep's milk. Uh, buckets, we should have some. Uh, as you can see, a steel warhammer 500. So um, basically, um, this is this is uh, trading. It's uh, I forget. Uh, 
<laughs> make it base harder uh, it, look, I know I know but dwarves have, have their way have their ways they can do this and more iron peak uh, I bet they don't like it <laughs> Okay, iron peak is 220. And so basically, if we're giving them this food, which is 1600 points, we could ask for about eight, nine hundred of value of their things. And it's not really a lot, unfortunately. So, okay, let's see if we have some cloth. Yes, we have some leather. I get the cheaper one. Pigtail, oh my goodness, it's so expensive. Big tail cloth. Let's see if they have some thread. More leather. We could make some some leather armor, maybe. Uh, there's some meat. We could get some meat. Some cheap meat so we can make some food. Okay. Pond turtle, yes. Rainbow throat, yes. Cave lobster, mm, fantastic. Uh, some cave fish as well. Okay, plump helmets. You can also press shift and the arrows to get the back of them. We are uh, 500. Okay, let's get some yarn, some silk thread. Yes, big tail thread. Uh, Quite expensive. Ship wool yarn, yes, yes. Okay. Cheese. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, um, we can, we have some a bit of wiggle room. We could get some. Uh, exotic cheese, but wow, it's so expensive. Uh, some big thread, apaka wool yarn. Mm, let's see now, seven hundred almost. Um, some strawberries for some strawberry wine, raspberry, probably. Okay, some uh, llama kidneys, why not? I'm sure they love it. Okay, and some cloth probably. Okay. Um, some, let's add this. Okay, let's see what they think about, what they think about it. Um, to trade are you sure yes 
Ah, wonderful. Thank you for business. Now, our broker isn't really good right now. So, uh, when the broker is, um, is more expert, it can or she can tell you if the um, if the other side was happy or not with the trade, the the happier they are, the the better the deals uh, in the future will be. So it's better to uh, lose something on the first couple of years. Okay. to be on the losing side okay by the way we could we should have some uh, tables ready yes quite a lot of of, of tables let's check the time it's almost 11 so I'm about to call it okay let's go with the chair Sit. Okay, so we'll expand our. Okay. Vukar, as we call a uh, stray dog. That was the puppy. Here, there, all. Yes, that's a nice sight to see on the doors we we already have some rooms ready to be carved the tablet will be engraved however i'm not going to engrave them just because we're s we're passing by and oh the merchant will be leaving so well we, we're okay petitions capital p the company of heather has many members in diamond fold and now requires a guild hall the location must be built and furnished with a hole designated for a woodworker guild. Do you approve this request? Okay, here is the deal. Guild holes are basically training holes for crafting professions. Not just crafting professions, even farmers can have a guild. So you might want to have them and improve the mood. However, you need to uh, get the place ready, uh, increase the value to a certain threshold. And when you accept the request, you have one year of time to fulfill it. Uh, we might go with it. I think the first step is 3000 of value. If we can get a kiln and get some clay or porcelain statues done, we'll be fine. The sooner we fulfill it, the better, however. We have 23 dwarves right now. It's quite a lot. So uh, let's place some more beds here. In the dormitory and all the all the beds we have. Okay. So hopefully we won't have doors sleeping on the floor again. And we can have some more more beds done. Let's start with ten, then we'll move them. Naturally, uh, all um, all the furniture can be removed and replaced. So. We're not committing anything by placing the beds here. We can take them out and uh, remove them and place them in the rooms below. It's not a problem. By the way, as we're there, we could start making wooden cabinet. At least 10. And wooden 
a chest. Okay. Okay, before I go, let's see if we can gather more plants. And these look like some har harvestable. Yes, that's okay. I gather plants, fruits are okay. Uh, we we got some meat, so we should be able to make to make some nice food. Let's check our sorry. Oh, okay, okay, it's looking better. The situation is looking better. Now, by the way, as you can see, all the um, estimated wealth is a bit. So we bit off. We can um, we can tell our uh, bookkeeper to be more precise in, in his or her job. We go to the noble tab. We select the the bookkeeper. As you can see, that the settings tab here is highlighted. So you press S and you tell him how precise you want. The job you I want a high precision basically this is the the higher the precision the more time uh, he or she needs to work if that makes sense on on this okay uh, do we have a Leather worker. Uh, tanner, tanner shop. No, it's a leather works. No, you need to craft it. Okay, I use some bitter orange wood, and then we might need a clothier shop. Again, okay, the macadamia wood, and uh, we don't have a maison shop. Uh, unbelievable. Acacia log, um, butcher, tanner, mechanic, mm, mechanic, no, leather works, uh, clothier, that's okay. Okay. Okay, it's, it's okay. I know I already said it. Oh, we already done here. And we could probably start poking our noses here to see if we can get something we also need more beans food and bean okay at least 10 and barrels food and barrel let's see our storage room uh, see the these square uh, square containers are beans, and these are obviously barrels. We have a lot of goods uh, which are not in a container, so it's taking more room, more space than it has to, and we don't want that. Okay, and that's okay. We're done. We still have plenty of wood, so 
will be fine. We can place more tables and chairs. Well, two tables actually. We should try to get more tables and chair down. Chair. Let's make it time. And table. Wooden table, please. Okay, that's it for now. It's, it's been a quite a hectic first year. Our animals are no longer hungry, which is excellent. They're not sleeping on the floor anymore, and soon we'll be able to get some proper rooms ready. Looking forward to it. And that's it. Okay. It's the first of the ninth month, so it's a good time to save and bid you good night. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see next week what happens here in Diamond Fold. Take care everyone and good night. You're welcome, Dockling. Bye, Dockling. Have fun. <laughs>